Welcome Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind time is fluid so whenever you view this it could represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you and even if it does be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit, I'm going to read your energy at the top. There's the bottom, but it is general, so it can be flipped or reversed. If you are interested in the decks that I am using, um, how to book a reading with me, um, how to follow me over on Instagram, other social media, all the information is in the description box below. Under the deck here, we have Spiritual Union, or the Two of Cups. Whew. So, in your pre-shuffle, Virgo, I was picking up, um, not really more a story, but more like a feeling, kind of like butterflies, kind of like just this energy of like newness, of just like playfulness, um, like really sweet, like tender energy. Like, I feel like this person um, kind of brings out emotions in you that have been very hidden or very lost or maybe even... Uh, hidden to you like um what's the right word unexpected like maybe you didn't really have never really felt this way about anybody before it's kind of like this sweet kind of like right you know what i mean like that blushing kind of it like wow you know like wow like kind of, it's just some kind of some kind of energy that i just kept feeling it wasn't really a specific message it was just like the way that this person makes you feel and i think that's i think it's honestly kind of mutual it's kind of very sweet kind of like playful you know kind of like no stop that kind of thing I think that you like it, though. All right. Clear messages and guidance, please, Spirit. All right. We have the Five of Coins and the Four of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Spears, ooh, the King of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Under the deck here, we have, I'm sorry, in their energy, the Six of Spears, the Ace of Swords, the Sun card, the Temperance card, the Queen of Coins, and the Justice card. Okay. Under the deck the ace I'm sorry the page of swords they're very curious about each other like I feel like there's a lot of conversation like it feels really good there is some kind of pain involved in this though like I feel like you may be leaving a situation in the past or this could be your person uh it's kind of like you weren't maybe you weren't expecting to fall in love with someone so quickly or to have these kind of feelings for someone maybe you've never really felt this way about anybody before it just feels very fun very new exciting I don't know feels good all right what is this energy please for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus in love and in life, what needs to come through for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Playfulness. There we go. And passion. Oof. Okay. Engagement. Your love life is sent into a higher level of commitment. So, I mean, do we really have to go any further? Okay, I'm going to read this like it's you, but it absolutely could be reversed. Just flip it if it's the way around. And this energy of moving on. So I kind of feel like some of you Six of Swords kind of energy here are leaving the past in the past, trying to heal from the past. Some of you could be, have left the situation. Again, time energy is fluid. That could represent a situation that happened five years ago, last week, two months from now, right? Something that's being dropped here, Something someone is moving on from something, trying to heal from the past. Uh, maybe you felt kind of alone. Okay, I kind of feel this energy of feeling alone in the world, kind of feeling like you don't really have anybody to talk to or confide in. A lot of kind of solitary energy, especially with this uh, Four of Swords on top of that Five of, of Pentacles. You know, it feels like uh, quiet meditation, just on your own, doing your own thing, sitting at your own cubicle, you know, not really going out, not having a good time. Some of you could be concerned about money and stuff like that, working a lot. You know, it, it just feels like you've been really in your head. And I feel like this person's coming in here and they are really turning things around for you, Virgo. I feel like whatever is going on here, like, it's about time, you know. And I feel like I said that to another side. I can't remember who I said that to. I kind of feel like you may have met this person and really did not anticipate falling in love with them or having these deep feelings or even that you could feel this way about somebody. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Very strong emotions for each other. Ace of Cups, that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. A lot of love here. It's like a victory, like a trophy almost, like a prize to be won. This person, you're very attracted to them. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Uh they they're fun they're exciting they make you feel alive they bring you out of your shell out of your comfort zone a little bit like you see this person as like i don't know why i want to say gold 
okay like this person they melt your heart uh, they provoke this passion in you this response in you uh, it's like you kind of were sitting I, I mean I just picture like this energy is kind of like sitting alone in the dark and they're they're grabbing your hand and pulling you out into the sunlight and like you're smiling as the warmth hits your skin it's just like this feeling of just kind of just feeling like alive around this person they may they they excite something in you there's passion there's attraction there's okay i mean you're enjoying this person's energy strong chemistry here so we have the king of cups that is more strong water cancer scorpio pisces and the three of swords i think that you are a little bit nervous now one of two things now you could see this person as they have moved on from a situation they have let it go they're still healing from that trying to you know get out of a situation or something like that or this could be you but what i feel here is like you see this person they have a lot of emotions they're just not the best at verbalizing them uh, but nonetheless it's kind of like something about how this person's around you how they treat you they make time for you how they respond how they communicate to you you feel their emotions they don't really even have to like say how they feel but you'd like them to they still somebody here is still healing maybe both of you okay three of swords there is some kind of pain in this it's like almost like honestly i kind of want to say some of you may even feel some kind of guilt for falling in love so quickly because I, and, and, and this could be like one person's message this is not for everybody now let's say that you do not intend to fall in love with this person and you had to leave somebody in the past you know it's like it's not that you didn't care about your partner or who you ever you were with okay but you found someone that you you know have this this chemistry this passion this love for okay uh and it still hurts you to kind of leave the past in the past but you're doing this you're choosing this okay or this could be your person okay Wh however this resonates i feel like it's a different for each of you if it's them it's like they maybe they didn't not necessarily love their partner but they couldn't help feeling these feelings for you okay um I just want to say this person is just very wounded. Like, this person's uh, definitely been through it in love. I think you have as well. You recognize this pain in each other. It's like you're healing each other. You know, the King of Cups, he's protecting, he's nurturing, he's kind, or female, male or female. Uh, gender irrelevant here. And their energy, we have stand your ground. So, I kind of feel like this person wants to, be, they know what they want here with you. They want to be victorious, it's like a Seven of Swords energy with that card. Um... They know what they want here and they want to fight for it. I kind of feel like for some of you, it may be a situation where maybe friends or family, co-workers, whoever doesn't necessarily approve of the situation. But they want to make it happen nonetheless. They're moving towards you. This is a, this is a exciting kind of energy. With the Six of Spheres, they want victory and success here. I mean, they want to ride off into the sunset with you, Virgo. They do want to communicate this to you, the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They want to communicate some of their feelings here with you, talk to you about how they're feeling, what they're thinking. Uh, be very honest and very direct with you. They want to make this work. They don't want you to give up on them. Uh, they want you to wait for them, perhaps. With the Sun card, that's Leo energy. They definitely feel like you're the one. Okay, you make them happy. This is the happiest card in the deck. It's illumination. Like I said, it's something about pulling. It's kind of like grabbing you from a dark place, grabbing your hand, just pulling you out into the sun. This person just completely changes your mood, and vice versa. I feel like you do it for this person as well. They want to heal this. They're trying to figure some things out. That is Sagittarius energy, it's patience, healing, uh, under coming to an understanding of the situation. We have the Queen of Coins. They see you, Virgo. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, male or female. They do see you as their Queen of Coins, though. They see you as somebody they could be dedicated and loyal to. They could have commitment and stability with. They want to make things right. That is Libra energy. They want to balance the scale. Some of them could be married, okay? Maybe they're leaving the situation in the past. That's for some of them, not all of them. Uh, or you could have been. But it's, you know, safe for you to love. It's open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all very strong connection here playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy this person's like bringing you out of your shell like you're excited you're i mean like i said this pre-shuffle i just kept getting the strong sense of like this feeling it wasn't more necessarily a message it was more like a oh you know like wow i wasn't expect i wasn't expecting this i wasn't expecting to feel this way i didn't know i could feel this way you know what i'm saying uh we have the page of swords here under the deck which is all about curiosity you're very curious about each other they wanted to get us to know each other it's kind of like a strategy almost like there's a dance between the two of you and i don't feel like it's in a negative way it just feels kind of like 
they feed you a little bit of information, you feed it to them back and forth a little bit at a time. Like you're very curious, very, both come off kind of mysterious to each other, but you enjoy that energy, you get to know them. We have Aquarius energy with the star, which is all about healing, okay? It's about wish fulfillment. What you've been waiting for, we have the King of Spears here. That's more strong fire energy. This person's very attracted to you. They definitely, male or female, want to make it happen. They see what they want. They want to come to you. There could be travel involved here, distance involved here, but they want to complete this chapter with you. They feel this strong spiritual tie to you with the two of cups. They feel like you're a soulmate. They want to bear their soul to you. They want to tell you how they feel, what they want here. See, I think no one's really come into your life that has made you feel this way in the past. And same thing for this person. We have engagement. Your love life is sent into a higher level of commitment. Things are progressing here. And I think it feels really good for the two of you. It's like you can't stay away from each other. You want to make it happen no matter what the obstacles are because the feeling, it's unmatchable. All right, so this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I would like to thank each and every one of you who has supported my channel and those of you who have donated. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.